Hopkinton Hillers Cheerleading hosted a chili cook-off at the Woodville Rod and Gun Club. A good turnout was on hand, and plenty of delicious chili was available to taste. HCAM's Mike Terosian was on the scene. Off for a cheerleading fundraiser. All right, and, uh, what are you raising funds for? We are raising funds for the team in general as a whole, for choreography, team apparel, all that fun stuff. Uh, we have seven participants and entries in our chili cook-off. And, uh, and are they, uh, for the, uh, is there a prize for the winner? The first prize is $200, second place is $100, and third place is $50. My dad's in the contest, <laughs> and he's going to win. <laughs> all right, and uh, anyone you want to thank uh, for, for this? Um, the local supporters of Hopkinton and all of the local businesses that supported and donated to our uh, raffle baskets and the Rod and Gun Club for providing the space and all of the cheer parents and team for volunteering today. Alright, right. who do you think is going to win today? My Glenn. dad, my dad, my dad. <laughs> is chili. Chili. He's an amazing cook. <laughs> Love him. Had his chili before, best chili I've ever eaten. We have two raffle baskets, one day of beauty basket with several options if you want to read it. No, good. And then we also have a Taste of Hopkinton basket with several restaurants in town for gift cards. And then we also have a raffle for this beautiful Hopkinton table. Awesome. All right, uh, what's your name? My name's Maddie Strickland. Uh, right. My name's Bridget LaCroix. And my name's Megan McClay. Right, so, Pat, uh, what are you doing here today? Uh, participating in the uh, chili cook-off for the uh, cheerleaders. Yeah, and you're representing the department? Hawking the fire department, yep. Right, so, Hawking the fire department, bought all the ingredients, I put it together, and here we are. All right, so uh, tell me about your chili. Well, it is a uh, beer-braised beef chili with bacon. It's got a couple different types of beef. It's got some uh, cube chuck, and it's also got uh, pulled flat iron, and of course, Bacon, bacon goes in everything. Excellent. It's got a heat, but it's a manageable heat. And what is, uh, what is your uh, secret to a good chili? Not necessarily a green, but what's your secret to like, what, what makes a good chili? Just let it uh, simmer together and get all the flavors mixed together. Betcha, yeah. Oh, baby. <laughs> yeah, really great with the avocado. Yeah. My daughter. It smells good, Glenn. Yeah, this is my daughter and my stepdaughter. <laughs> Uh, they're both cheerleaders for Hoppington High School, and we're making chili today. Uh, try to take home the first prize. Woo! Yeah. And, uh, what, what kind of chili did you make? I just made regular beef chili with uh, peppers. Uh, it's kind of sweet, not too hot. So it's a little, it's a little hot, a little sweet, you know, and, just uh, right. What, what's your secret to making a good chili? Good cilantro, fresh cilantro. That's the ticket. So good. Yeah. Right, here we go. Very good. It's done well. I got bacon in there. I made it with beer, tomatoes, red and green peppers, onions, jalapenos. And I used chipotle powder to put a little smokiness into it. Um, it's not too spicy. I used um, beer in it and I put bacon and hamburg, red beans, you know. So say, uh is this a family recipe or something? Or? No, it's, I just take ingredients and I modify it myself. So I just get a basic one in my head and then I just add and subtract. My what? Like I took out the cayenne and I added more jalapenos because I don't want to make it too spicy. And, and what's your secret to a good chili? Just time. You gotta let it sit. Everything's gotta melt together very nicely. I didn't have time, I was gonna do it overnight but I didn't have time to do it last night, but. Each <laughs> So that looks like mine. <laughs> Five pounds of bison in there. Wow. This is triple B chili. Bison, bacon, and beer. And a lot of peppers too, but that didn't start with a P or a B, so. 
Is this a uh, famous recipe of yours or a favorite thing? Or? Uh, I make it all the time, but this one I actually Googled. I wanted something different, so I got a few ideas off the internet. Okay. And uh, what, what is your secret to a good chili? Um, a lot of peppers and slow cooking. It's all natural, too, so gluten free. It's a nice, good, thick chili. Oh, yeah, that is. That's perfect. I was asked to come do a chili cook off, so I was like, okay, that sounds like a great plan, a great way to spend the day. So, got some chili put together for us. And are you a regular chili maker by heart? No, not really. I mean, every once in a while we'll try a different recipe that we find online or something that somebody says, you gotta try it. And what kind of uh, chili did you make today? Well, today I made Aunt Betty's chili. It's a recipe that's been in our family for several generations. It's been changed a little bit here and there over the years, but it always seems to be a good, consistent chili. And what are some of the ingredients that we might find? Not taking any secrets from Yeah, no, no, no secrets, no secrets. Uh, Tabasco, chili powder, grass-fed beef, not your normal, just like uh, hay, and uh, that's it. And what is your secret to a good chili? Follow the recipe. Follow the recipe. <laughs> um, like everybody, time, slow cook it, slow cook it.